In our last video, we went ahead and took a look at how we could create um, rectangles and uh, ovals with these vector control tools here. And we also look very briefly at the text tool. And this is the tool that I want to draw your attention to right now. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my document. And I'm going to type, this is some text. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options for this. Now, I can change the font right here. Now, I want you to notice I don't actually have the object or any text selected. I just have my cursor inside of there. So if I change the font at this point to something different, like let's say uh, black oak there, it's not going to affect any current text. But when I go ahead and type, you're going to see everything from that point on is affected. So in this way, it's a lot like Microsoft Word. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Whoops, one character too many. And if I want to change the font of everything in this box, I either have to highlight it or just select it with my arrow tool. And when I do that and change the uh, font, let's go ahead and say to this, you'll see that everything in that box also changes. So you can very easily change the font. Here's where you would change the different styles. I can make this bold. Notice there's no italic setting for that particular font in that uh, drop down, but you do have bold, italic, and underline here. And uh, there is a reason for that. We'll talk about that in a later video, how fonts work. And then we have the font size right here. I can make this anything I want. I could type in 72 there, or I could type in some, even with a decimal, I could say 40.4. So I can give it an exact font size. I also have the font color here. And again, I can click that, choose any of these colors here, or I can go to my system color picker right here, my color wheel. And when I click that, you're going to see that you get your basic colors here, but you also have the color prism that you can fill things in right here. So I could go ahead and click up here and change the color brightness control to the exact color that I want. And I can even add this to custom colors so that it remembers it. I'm going to click OK, and you're going to see that font now takes on that particular color. So we've got, we can change our font, our font style, size, and also we can change the uh, color. Now you can also change the transparency of your text. So I can click right here and drag this down, and you're going to see the font gets lighter, but the reason for that is that you can now see through it. So I can change the transparency of a font. And there are some other options in here that may be a little bit less useful to you. You can change the horizontal scaling of the text right here. For example, I can kick that up and you'll see how it makes my characters wider. I can also change the indent paragraph indentations, the spacing before and after a paragraph. This is the line height or the letting. And you can specify that either as a percent or as pixels, just like you can in CSS. You can affect the kerning of the characters right here, and that's the amount of space that's in between the different characters. And I actually made my width there pretty small, so I'm going to change that back to 100, which is normal. And then we have our paragraph alignment tools right here as well. So that's just some basic things that you can do with text inside of um, fireworks. Something that I would encourage you to look at that we'll explore in a little later video are the, applying these filter effects right here. So take a look at these filters and also play around with this transparency and uh, see what that'll do um, for you.